Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Cool Small Stuff in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, we look at how to create auditions inside Final Cut. Another new feature with Final Cut 10 is a thing called auditions. Audition is the ability to uh, compare clips and decide which one you want to use. For instance, here I've got some wonderful lions lazing about in the sun, and this is as close to them as I want to get. So look at that. Nice scratching your back in the mud or sand or whatever. <laughs> now, what do I want to use next? Is this a story about animals relaxing, or is this a story about violent predators? I'm not quite sure. So let's see what I've got for clips up here. What do I want to use? I've got a bighorn sheep clip. That would sort of be like animals lazing in the sun or a grizzly black bear. I guess it's a black bear. Violent predators. I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. So I'm going to select both these clips, go up to the clip menu, go down to audition and create an audition. An audition contains both of these clips and allows you to compare and contrast between the two of them. Let me illustrate. When I select the audition, type the letter E, it automatically edits down to the end of my sequence, and I play the lions, and it goes to the bear. <laughs> um, but maybe I want to go to the ram. Well, here, this is what's special about this clip. See that downward pointing spotlight right there? Type the letter Y. It opens up the audition, and now I can see the two different shots that are inside it. Notice that as I change between shots, it changes the shot inside the audition. Not only changing the shot, but changes the audition itself. And that's because the audition contains the entire clip that's inside the event browser. So when I preview this by just hitting the spacebar, let's preview this and watch the RAM. Goes back a few seconds, plays through. All right, animals lounging in the sun. I'm going to click on the bear, hit the space bar, previews again. It backs up the playhead automatically. Now let's go back to the RAM space bar, backs up the playhead, plays through, up. Now you could switch between pictures by using the left and the right arrow keys. All you have to do to preview is hit the space bar because it automatically backs up a few seconds and allows you to see it. When you decided that you've got it complete, just click Done. And notice that I've decided that I want to stay with animals that are brown, lazing in the sun. It's a beautiful thing. brings tears to my eyes. But in point of fact, this is actually kind of like a special multi-clip because it's keeping track of both the black bear and the ram. So you want to finalize this by going up to the clip menu, going down to audition and say finalize audition. Notice the icon is gone. It's now just a standard clip, which you can trim and work with as a standard clip. And it now just keeps track of that one bighorn sheep. Well, the strength of auditions is it makes it really, really easy to drop this up as B-roll or part of your main storyline, talking head or not talking head. makes it easy to compare. But the thing that drives me the most nuts about it is that the audition includes the entire duration of the clip. It doesn't work with ins and outs. And the reason is Final Cut 10 doesn't understand ins and outs between two different clips at the same time. One clip, but not both. But there's a cool workaround. Let me show you what this is. I'm going to get rid of this by right-clicking on it, move it to trash. And what I've done is I've selected a four-second section. See that green bar at the top? I've marked four seconds as a favorite. This shot runs 15 seconds. This shot runs eight seconds. So that's why the green bar is a different length. But in point of fact, both of these clips are the same length. The favorite sections are. They're four seconds. Go up to Favorites. Now when I highlight this, it's four seconds. When I highlight this, it's four seconds. Both clips are the same length. This is exactly the same as if I set an in and an out on each clip. All I did is I set a favorite region by setting an in, setting an out, and then clicking the green favorite icon down here. Now they're both the same length. Select them all, clip, audition, create. Command Y is the keyboard shortcut. The letter E, and now Y to separate it, decide which one you want. Notice that as I go between different shots, because they're both the same length, the duration of the audition doesn't change.
Well, let's just say, because we can, one more thing, let's go back to all clips. Let's say that I want to add one more shot. Mm, tiger's playing. So I simply grab this shot. Let's do Control D, set it to a four second duration, grab our Tiger's playing and drop it on top. When I let go, replace will replace based upon the duration of the clip in the event browser. Replace from start starts at the end but ends at the out of the clip in the timeline. Replace from end starts at the out but ends at the duration of the in of the clip in the timeline. Or I can replace and add to audition or just add it to the audition. I'm going to add it to the audition. So now when I type Y, I've got three shots. I've got my bighorn sheep, I got my fierce black bear, and I've got my even fiercer tigers playing. And notice as I move between, let's just preview that, spacebar. Ta-da! Look at that. Is that cool? When we're done, select it, go up and clip, audition, finalize. We're going to stay with the fierce beasts. Look at that. Very cool. That's what auditions are for. They allow you to audition or preview audio or video from the event browser, build it into a collection. And I'm using two clips, but you could use four or eight or ten. really makes no significant difference. It's trying to help you decide what's the best piece of video to use at a specific time in your project. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 76.